Welcome to Shakespeare the Sonnets. Today we're doing sonnet number 142. Love is my sin and desire of virtue hate. Hate of my sin grounded on sinful loving. Oh, but with mine compares thou thine own state. And thou shalt find it merits not reproving. Or if it do not from those lips of thine, that have profaned their scarlet ornaments. And sealed false bonds of love as oft as mine, robbed others' beds revenues of their rents. Be it lawful I love thee as thou lovest those, whom thine eyes woo as mine importun thee. Root pity in thy heart that when it grows, thy pity may deserve to be pitied thee. As thou dost seek to have what thou dost hide, by self-example mayest thou be denied. So, firstly, what I have to say is, Love is my sin, hate of my sin, and that, that is the first two words, well, technically phrases, that come to my mind immediately. Love is my sin, hate of my sin. That basically means that the love is my sin, and that anxiety of virtue hate. So it basically means that Shakespeare, okay, my love is my sin. Loving you is actually kind of a sin right now, because I could go to hell for this. But then again, your dear virtue, my love, my dear... I'm going to have to say my dear, because it actually kind of does not say love anymore. At least towards the young youth. He's, she's all like, alright, so you go ahead. And your dear virtue is your hate. And since you're hating someone, that's basically what your sin. And because you hate my sin, ground it on sinful loving. So I hate my sin myself as well too. I want to go ahead and burn it off. Burn it with laser eyes or something like that. And then you go ahead and... I can't go ahead and burn it because it's grounded. The, the things that which it has grown from is actually sinful loving. Let's say the ground was sinful loving and the roots of the flower were using the soil of sinful loving. That's practically what the love is. It's comparing it to a plant, basically. Oh, but with mine compared to thine own state. <sighs> what? With mine, you can go ahead and compare thine own state. Like, <sighs> what you have to know here is that but mine and compare thine own state to thine own state, I'm just going to have to assume that means that the young youth is basically in a hateful, mateful mood, not in the loving mood that well, Shakespeare would like the young youth to be in. So if you compare my state, which is really not that simple, and compare it with your state, my sins are nothing compared to yours. And no, I do not, I do not deserve to be redeemed. That's what ends out shall find its merits not reproving means. Or if I it do, not from those lips of thine that have profaned their scarlet ornaments and still false bonds of love as oft as mine. So that makes those three lines basically means or if I go ahead and I do if I do go ahead and deserve to be reprimanded, I deserve to be a uh, uh yeah. If I do deserve to be reprimanded that basically means, I don't think your lips are what's going to reprimand me as well too. That have profaned their scarlet ornaments. So, that have profaned their scarlet ornaments. That you went ahead and you touched others that are so unfaithful to me, so that makes it dirtier. And steal false bonds of love as oft as mine. Where I go ahead and send off fake, fake valentine cards or something like that in the form of your lips. Then again, I have done it too, but I didn't do it as much as you did. Oh, no, where's William Shakespeare's head? That's too big. That's still too big. There we go. And for the rest, all you have to go ahead and understand is, Rob Lutter's best revenue of the rents paid lawful. I love thee as thou lovest those. That basically means, I went ahead and I robbed other pe other beds. You went ahead and you went to other people, and you were all like, Psych! You're sleeping with other men? Be lawful, I love thee as thou lovest those. Be but then again, I it is lawful that I go ahead and love other people as well as you go ahead and love other people as well too. Whom thine eyes woo as mine important that root pity in thy heart that when it grows. And then your eyes they woo as mine important thee root pity in thy heart that when it grows, I pity me deserve to be pity be. So your eyes, you go ahead and make other people pity you so that they well they want to go in your bed go into bed with you. 
Jesus. But then again, there's so much more that you can do. So I pity may deserve to be pitied. Now, you pity, it's so pity that you may actually go ahead and you deserve to be pitied. And Zai Pity may deserve to be pity me. You may deserve to pity. I may go ahead and pity you. If thou dost seek to have what those time, if you go ahead and you decide to show pity for me as well too, instead of showing me all these false pities of arrows. And then you might actually understand, young youth, that you won't get any more men because what you've been, what you've done. And that's it. That's on a number 142. So, I hope you guys actually did enjoy this episode. I'll see you guys soon. Until next time, shnano keys. Bye-bye. Love is my sin, and thy dear virtue hate. Hate is my sin, and grounded on sinful loving. O, but with mine compares thou thine own state, and thou shalt find its merits not improving. Or if it do not from those lips of thine, that have profaned their scarlet ornaments, and sealed false bonds of love as off as mine. Rob others' beds, revenues of thy rents. Be it lawful, I love thee as thou lovest those, whom thine eyes woo as mine importune thee. Rue pity in thy heart that when it grows, thy pity may deserve to be pitied be, if thou dost seek to have what thou dost hide. By self-example mayest thou be denied.